distinguished Professor Dali, Zhi、uh, Yun, and all the experts, ladies and gentlemen, all the distinguished guests. Good afternoon. I, with my six colleagues, we are very excited and、uh, proud to be part of the delegates coming from China. So it's my great pleasure to give you a presentation to share with you our best practices in terms of how we realizing the value of ecosystem services. I will talk about our experience and the lessons learned. So first, allow me to give you a introduction from two perspectives. So first part, I'll give you an overview of the city of Li Shui. Li Shui is situated in southeast China. It's the most eco-friendly city in China. President Xi Jinping paid special attention to the city of Li Shui. He paid eight visits to Li Shui. He said that、uh, Li Shui has fresh water and lush mountains. It's a natural beauty. He also said that uh, uh, the lush mountain and fresh waters are invaluable assets, especially for Li Shui. So Li Shui is richly endowed with ecological resources. We strive for green development, and we earned a lot of awards. It's called the national level ecological demo zone. It's called the national level climate resilient city, the international leisure and recreational city, the most beautiful city in China, a hometown of longevity, an excellent tourist city in China, the home of photography, a national civilized city. So, both on the national and the international levels, Li Shui is leading the way. So, first of all, Li Shui has a very beautiful ecology, very representative of a Chinese city. We have beautiful mountain, fresh water, quality air, and a pleasant climate. We have so many beautiful mountains. There are over 3,500 mountains that are a thousand meters higher. The forest coverage rate is over 80 percent. We have really quality、uh, water, very beautiful mountains, and over 95 percent of the surface water met a second level national standard. We also have quality air. The average concentration of negative oxygen ion per cubic centimeter is over 3,000. We have pleasant climate. The average temperature is 17.9 degrees Celsius. The average precipitation Precipitation is 1599 millimeter. The average rainy days every year is about 166. So we have a typical ecological and、uh, a livable city. It's also named the only homeland of longevity in China. And second of all, Li Shui sets the example for green development. It's a typical mountainous city. The area size is over 17.3 thousand square kilometers. Over 90 percent of the cities are mountains. It's also the place of ethnic minorities. The、uh, Jingning County is the major settlement for the Shu minority. It's also the only autonomous county for the Shu people. In recent years, we have been Striving for a very unique ecological development path. So, regarding our area size, the average GDP as well as the average income per capita are all higher than the national average. So, by studying Li Shui's development, you can get a sense of China's typical city development and ethnic minority development. So, Li Shui provides a very convincing story in terms of ecological protection and green development. And the third, Li Shui is a historical city for arts and culture. We have a lot of historical and cultural treasures in Li Shui. It's called a、uh, world ceramic city. China's Longquan, Longquan Saladong, 
in 2009 was recognized by UNESCO as the intangible cultural heritage for the ceramic firing technique. And also Longquan sword is world renowned. In 2009, it was recognized as a intangible cultural heritage by China. Also the Qingtian stone carving is sold globally in 1915 in the city in San Francisco during the Panama Pacific International Expo is given uh, the highest award. In 2006, it was listed among the first batch of intangible cultural heritage in China. Lishui also has the most densely clustered ancient villages with an authentic uh, South China style. We have over 158 ancient villages, it has a strong flavor of hometown nostalgia, people have a strong emotional attachment to it. And the fourth, Li Shui, is a place to facilitate friendship and make bridges back to the Song and the Yuan dynasties. A lot of people of Li Shui, they traveled across the maritime Silk Road and brought the Li Shui's ceramics, swords, tea, and the mushroom all over the world. Since the 17th century, more and more Li Shui people, with the ambition to uh, promoting the culture, they travel across the world and make friendships, and they became the very earliest entrepreneurs outside of China. So currently there are about 400,000 Li Shui people living in over 130 countries and regions, and they are becoming the facilitators and the cultural promoters and the great contributors to world peace. And the second, the city of Li Shui, I will talk about our uh, best approaches in terms of how we realize the value of ecological products. So in the past, we have been working very hard to protect our ecology, but also we try to transform our ecological resources into economic advantages. We hope to set a good example for the whole China and uh, adding and maintaining the value of our natural capital. And first of all, we actually established a mechanism for value realization and formulate an institutional framework back in 2000. We proposed the concept of building the city upon ecology and uh, promoting the city upon green development. And in 2008, the government proposed the Elysia City Ecological Progress General Plan. And in 2017, we also established a green development and a comprehensive reform innovation zone. We also proposed a certain drinking water protection or this uh, uh, protections uh, law. And also over 95% of the district was actually considered as an ecological reserve and we build up a negative list for industrial development. Second of all, uh, we focus on our ecological products and the services to build a market net. We hope to provide a very quality products and to cultivate certain key projects. For example, we are promoting a global agricultural heritage, which is called aquaponics. We grow rice and fish at the same time in a symbi uh, symbiotic environment. We hope to realize the concept that one move. 100 kilograms of fish, 1,000 kilograms of rice, and 10,000 yuan. We hope to promote our branding. We also registered the very first public brand, Li Shui Shangong. We established an international certification alliance to do the verification work. And we uh, accomplished a supply chain development, and we had over a thousand cooperative bases. Our agriculture products are sold in Beijing, Shanghai, and other 20 provinces and cities. The brand Li Shui in 2017, the sales volume is over uh, 1 billion US dollars. The value of the brand is over 400 million US dollars. And we are also awarded the 2016 Innovation Award for Social Governance. We are also expanding e-commerce. We leverage internet to expand our sales channel. And there are over 13,000 e-commerce vendors in Li Shui, and the professional staff, over 42,000 people. The accumulative sales uh, was is over 1.5 billion US dollars. Our success story was also talked about as a best practice for combining internet with agriculture. And also we want to have a different mortgages 
、uh, practices so that we can conduct rural areas financial reforms so that we can have green financing and credits over one one point five billion U.S. dollars so as to provide vivid blood for promoting the ecological products and leisure. Thirdly, we want to focusing on the value realization of adjusting services of ecosystem and making an overall arrangement of development. So in Li Shui, we pioneered the reform innovation of the river rights, and we have the authority and management to make sure the, about the river, and we will. We also、uh, in, have have been able to have. One thousand and three hundred U.S. dollars per kilometer of the river canal, so that this has been recognized as one of the top ten、um, water management practices in 2015. And also, we have quality air, quality soil, quality climate, healthy food ingredients, so that a lot of the businesses have been attracted to locate here. For instance. Kowloon farmers took the vehicles, decided to come to Lishui, and also acquired a local business, Guoqing Pharmaceutical. Compared to other similar pharmaceutical businesses, Guoqing Pharmaceutical's water cleaning costs have been decreased by 50% annually, and also be able to reduce its maintenance fee、uh, by 60%. Yearly, recently, this company also invested greatly in its environmental protection equipment, so that the energy、uh, consumption decreased by 90 percent. So that we have a win-win luxury story, and also、uh, in our agricultural climate, and、uh, we have quality、uh, certification. We have the tea leaves, apples. Uh, apple pears and plums, and we have six different、uh, fruit species and seventeen different batches of agricultural products. And fourthly, we are able to focus on the value realization of cultural services of ecosystem and promoting industrial coverage convergence. We view Lishui City as a huge brand name, as a beautiful area and a great garden, and we have Lishui Shanju as a brand for tourism and promoting industrial conversions because we have a Southern China as not just. Feelings and ecological ingredients, as well as our humanitarian characteristics, so that a lot of people and tourists come here to enjoy our、uh, bed and breakfast environment. So for our BNB、uh, GDP, we increase forty percent annually, and for eleven consecutive years, we maintain a high growth rate of twenty-five percent year by year. And also, we are recognized as the most beautiful countryside, as well as the China's most beautiful garden, as well as other different awards around China. So we combine culture with tourism, and we have the Yellow Empire culture, Shizu Empire, wood carving、uh, culture, Babi Song. Culture, photography, culture, so that we can revitalizing our traditional industries, and we also develop the safeguarding efforts of our old and traditional houses, and we have been. Then recognized as the pioneer area for the national level tourism and reform innovation area, as well as the model area for tourism nationally. And our city also recognized July 29th as the ecological inspiration day of Lishui City, so that all on that day all the people from Lishui will talk about ecology, love ecology, to protect ecology in our ecosystem. And we want to make sure that the green ecological transportation and efforts will be promoted. Green transportation, low carbon consumption, and we also reduce our carbon emission by thirty thousand tons per year. Ladies and gentlemen, every expert, natural capital is the foundation to support global wealth. 
We need to have evaluation of our ecological products, and it's truly important to make sure that we will be able to transform natural resources into natural into natural capital. We will keep doing this in Lishui, and we will promote further our mechanism of the model of Lishui City, so that we will provide even more success stories and vivid stories and cases, so that we can jointly make efforts to the sustainable development of all human beings. In closing, once again, I wish all the success of this symposium, and you are deeply invited and welcome to visit Lishui City in China, so that we can jointly work together to make sure that we'll have a sustainable future. Thank you so much. Thank you.